Okay, got future Buckeye Eric Glover Williams here after a tough loss nice at, uh, Thank you, uh, to the Dublin Shamrocks tonight. Eric, what do you got to do now to rally the troops, so to speak? Uh, just going back into Monday, just going back into the lab, just uh, go talk to all the guys and make her, make sure everybody's on the right path. Just make sure everybody's staying in the game and just making sure everybody's ready for the next next uh, the opponent that we got, which is uh, the Hoover Vikings. Uh, we start the Federal League next week, so kind of just making sure everybody on the same page and ready to play some football. And obviously, when you were on defense, they ran everything away from you. Is that uh, kind of been the norm so far this season? Uh, yeah, it's kind of been a normal for me. Uh, just teams trying to run away from me. Uh, they threw the ball on my, my side once, uh, kind of got beat a little bit. But other than that, uh, the ball didn't come to my side. Yeah, they really uh, uh, steered away from you and made it made getting into play tough, really. But uh, offensively, you, know, you had, had a couple nice runs and there's not a lot of room to run. But uh, you, you showed your ability to beat people out, onto the outside and all. What's Ohio State talking with you about? as far as when you get to Columbus? Uh, I'm not so much sure yet what they got, what they got in store for me. Uh, just kind of just going along and just trying to finish out this year and finish out my senior year with a great year. Do you have a preference? Uh, not really. And uh, I, know, I know you've talked about slot maybe at Ohio State. Yes, sir. Uh, if you're going to pick two positions, what would they be that you have in mind maybe for Ohio State? Uh, I'd like to play slot uh, and I'd also like to play uh, corner. And speaking of corners, Kerry Combs was here tonight in the house and uh, yes, sir. Uh, I was watching you closely. Did you know he was coming down? Uh, no, I did not. I, did not. Uh, I knew that one of the coaches were coming, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be him or not. And how much contact do you have right now with Ohio State? Uh, we probably kind of talk to them uh, once a week, and uh, they kind of uh, call my school, talk to them once a week. So it's kind of we kind of we got a good relationship. You still got a long way to go. You got uh, plenty of senior season yet, but I'm sure that uh, Ohio State's got to be at least a little bit on your mind. Oh yes, for sure. What uh, what do you envision you know, you, as far as playing for the Scarlet and Gray and what that's going to be like? Uh, just kind of going in and just being one of those impact players to uh, just uh, settle off and just have a great season. And then uh, when, when will you get to Ohio State next? Uh, I'm not sure. It just depends on uh, whenever I can get a chance to go down there. Uh, I was going to go tomorrow, but uh, we got uh, film and uh, injury check and stuff like that tomorrow, so I wouldn't be able to make it tomorrow. Of course, they had a tough game last week, but what do you see for the rest of the season with the Buckeyes? Um, I, they're gonna, uh, they're all, like people say uh, their offense is built around Braxton Miller. Uh, he's out for the shoulder injury, but I think they're going to be able to come along and uh, have a great season. And then I'm sure you're going to have four or five great seasons for the Buckeyes. Yes, sir. Hey, Eric, really appreciate it, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank Eric you. Glover-Williams, one of the top players, not only in Ohio, but the entire country.